It's TK Friday, and today it's all about balance and contrast control through color grading. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me on this TK Friday. The first thing I like to do on my images after bringing them into Photoshop from Lightroom, where I use like a linear profile and do basic minor adjustments, then they come into Photoshop, and I always like to start out by adding some balance and contrast. And to do that, I add three color grading layers, one for shadows, one for highlights, and one for midtones. And if you'll notice, I have a special shadows mask attached to the shadows layer, a highlights luminosity mask added to the highlights layer, and a midtones luminosity mask added to the midtones layer so I can get really accurate control with my color grading tool. Now I follow this procedure every time I edit an image in Photoshop. And if you've watched past tutorials on my YouTube channel, you know I do this, especially when you're watching a full edit, you see I always do this. Now it does take three layers to do this, and what if we could do it all with one layer? Well, the other day I was talking to Tony Kuiper and we were looking at this particular image here, and you know, I was talking about the color grading tool and how I like to balance out the images at the start of my editing process. However, it does take three adjustment layers. And we were seeing if we could come up with a way of maybe cutting it down to one adjustment layer. And Tony had this idea. He said, I've never tried this, Dave, but why don't you try this? Why don't you add a color grading tool and put a mids three luminosity mask on it? And let's see if we can do this all with one adjustment. And I said, well, you know what, Tony, that would really speed up the workflow. Let's give it a try. And that's what this tutorial is all about. But before I go there, let me show you the results from my three color grading tool layers, shadows, highlights, and midtones. These three adjustments are inside this group called balance and contrast. So let's turn on this group. So here's my result after my shadows, highlights, and midtone color grading tool adjustments. So I've added more contrast, balanced out the image, and added some color grading. Now I'm gonna shut this off. Now I'm not gonna show you how I did this today because I have other tutorials. You can go back on my YouTube channel and watch them, especially the ones where I do full edits. But today it's all about you know speeding up the workflow with just one color grading adjustment. Can we do it? I think we can. Let me show you what Tony and I have come up with. Let me go ahead and collapse this group. It's shut off, so we're only seeing the original image right out of Lightroom with a linear profile and some minor adjustments. Spoiler alert, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm not going to turn this on right now. Actually, I'm going to delete this and start afresh. First off, let me X out of this color grading tool. Did I mention this was an iPhone photo? If not, I meant to. I got to tell you, I was very inspired by Tony Kuiper's Good Light Journal blog on iPhone photography, which I will link in the description below this video. And check this blog out. It really got me inspired to take my iPhone out and start taking images because you know what? The best camera we have is the one we have with us. And you know what? iPhones are really great. They've, they're getting better all the time. But you got to take a look at some of Tony's images. Like, look at this. This is from an iPhone. Can you believe it? it? All these, these are all iPhone images. They really inspired me to pull mine out, like I said. So you got to give it a try. So check this blog out. Click on the link and subscribe to that blog. There's all kind of good information on there all the time, and I highly recommend it. By the way, I shot this image with a Lightroom app, and if you have Photoshop, I'm sure you have Lightroom too because you got the photography plan. You can get that. Lightroom app for your smartphone. I'm sure you can get it for Android and Apple as well, but then you'll be able to shoot in camera raw and then Tony can make you a linear profile. I'll provide a link in the description below where you can get your linear profile. Well, let's get started here. Okay, so I got my background layer. Pretend the balance and contrast is in here because we're going to compare the two when I'm done here. This is still a very valid way of doing it and you may get a little extra control out of this method, but I think you're going to get very similar results with a new method. So come up to luminosity mask and let's open this up and let's go to mids three. This is what you need. Midtones three. Click that. You see there's your midtones three adjustment. 
You'll do this on any image that you're working with and just output it to a color grading tool just that easily. Now this Midtones 3 mask is kind of important because what it does is it affords us a layer of protection. So let me go ahead and before I make an adjustment, I'm going to disable this color grading mask and I'm going to click the red X here and it's disabled. Then we'll go to our TK8 either combo or CX panel. I'm using the CX. You could use combo or CX depending which one you want. They both do the same thing. I'm going to click the live clipping and that puts a live clipping layer above all the other layers. Now this live clipping layer is really helpful because if you ever make adjustments, everything below that layer, if you make an adjustment and you've clipped highlights or shadows, it'll show up. Shadow show up is blue and highlights show up as red when they're clipped. When you're done using the clipping layer, because it's an aid, you have to shut it off. To shut it off, just come back and click that same icon again. But we're gonna use it, so I'm gonna turn it back on. Right now, live clipping is active, it's highlighted. So come to the color grading layer, because we're gonna make an adjustment and we can't be on live clipping and adjust this color grading layer, so that's important. Let's start out with highlights. So let's click on our highlights. Let's drag the highlights slider to the right and see how the live clipping shows us if we have any clipping here. Now remember, our mask is disabled. We have no protection from that MIDS 3 mask. So let me drag this over to the right. And do you notice that? There's our clipping. Now here's where live clipping comes in handy. When you see the red that has clipping, but live means when I drag this back, I could drag it back till my clipping is gone. Now right there, I have no clipping. But for now, let's turn it the whole way up so we can see it. There's our live clipping. Now let's go to shadows. Now remember, when I clip shadows, it'll turn blue if I clip shadow. So let's drag this slider to the left and see all that clipping and I can get amazing amounts of clipping. And again, the live clipping, if I drag it to the right, you can see they're starting to go away. So pretty cool. You need to use this live clipping tool. It's really a, a really good visual aid. Just remember when you're done to shut it off by coming back up here. But right now we have no protection. Let's see what that Midtones 3 protection layer does for us. Let's go ahead and engage it again by clicking the red X again. And now you'll notice my clipping is totally gone. Now let's go ahead and reset this color grading tool. And to do that, let's come up to shadows. I'm going to right click the shadows. That'll reset the shadows. And then I'll come and right click on the highlights. That's how you reset these different tones here. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the live clipping layer. So just come up here and click the live clipping layer again. And it is gone. And now I'll show you how I make my balance and contrast adjustment. I think I'll start with the highlights. So I'm going to click on the highlight block. And if we want to make our highlights lighter we can drag this to the right and make the highlights lighter or drag it to the left and make them darker or duller so I just want to lighten them up a little bit maybe somewhere right around in there and then I'm going to go to my shadows and I recommend that you start with highlights first and then go to shadows and then midtones last so there's highlights and then I'm going to go to my shadows now I'm just looking at my shadows and adjusting this to the left to see the level I want them at. Or I could adjust them to the right if I wanted to open up those shadows. So, you know, it's not all always about like a high contrast. Maybe you want a low contrast. I have another image I'm going to show you with low contrast, how I work with it. But for now, I want regular contrast. So I'm going to move this to the left till it looks about right for me. And I'm thinking maybe right about there. And now I'm going to go to my midtones. So I'm going to click on my midtones block. And I'm looking at this beam right here. It's a little bit too light. So what I think I'll do is darken that a little bit by moving this to the left. Not too much, but just a little bit there. Now let's take a look. Here's my before and here's my after. I like it, but we can go further. So now we could come and add some color grading. So let's go up to the shadows block. And what if I want to cool the shadows down a little bit? I think it'll look nice in this image. So I'm just going to take this shadow block and, you know, I could really cool it down, but I don't want to go that much. Just a little bit, maybe something like that. Now let's go to my midtones. And what if I want to just warm up the midtones a little bit? I think I'll just warm them up just a little wee bit, something like that. Now let's take a look. Here is the before and here is the after. Now we could go to the highlights too and work on that. I may be a little too strong there. I'm going to pull this back. Okay, so here is the before and here's the after. Now let's compare it. Here's my shadows, midtones, and highlights three adjustments like I've done in the past. Here is the before and here is the after. Now let's compare it to the color grading, the new one. 
They're both very similar. Uh, I think you get a slight bit of more control here, but I'm telling you, this is very, very close. So I would recommend trying this first. And if this doesn't get it for you, then try this method. But for most images, it's going to work. But it's a one adjustment, as you can see right here, versus two or three. Sometimes I don't use midtones, but usually I use all three. But anyway, here we're adjusting whatever we want, shadows, midtones, and highlights. And we have this mids three protection, so we're not going to get any clipping whatsoever. Now let's move on to the next image, and that is this image here. This image is a little bit different. I want to add more of a low contrast look to this image. Now this and the next example I'll be showing are not iPhone images. These are out of a DSLR camera. On this particular image, I really like it a lot. I got a lot of nice like bokeh or bokeh, however you say that in the background. I really like it. But I want a low contrast image here. So again, minimal adjustments in Lightroom, linear profile. I'm going to X out of the color grading tool. That was from the last image. I'm going to come back up to luminosity mass and get the midtones three like before. And then what I'm going to do is output this to a color grading tool again. I'll set my highlights first, click on the highlight block, and then I'm going to drag this to the right. Maybe a little bit more. There's my highlights. Now remember, I'm not going to clip because I have this protection mids three mask on here, right? So right around there, I think it looks good. Then I'm going to go with my midtones and bump those up a bit like that, just to lighten up the overall midtones. Isn't that beautiful? I could probably stop right here if I wanted to, but I'm going to go to the shadows. Now, normally I would take my shadows and move it to the left. And see how I build up a lot of contrast, but I don't want that. But if that's the look you want, then you do it. You know, art is subjective. Do what you want. But I think I'll try moving it to the right a little bit. See how I'm decreasing the contrast when I, when I move it to the right? I want a little bit of contrast in there, so I might just move it just a little bit to the right. I don't think I'm going to color grade this image, but I could. For instance, I could go into, say, like the midtones and maybe add a little bit of a blue back in there which doesn't look too bad actually you know what i actually think i like it so i'm gonna keep it it really pays to try things and experiment so here the blue works for me i really like it but i think i'm gonna leave all the other tones alone here is the before and here is the after but isn't that nice it's a great starting point now then i would work further with the tk8 panel from here but this is a starting point, and I just want to show you how to start your images out. And like I said, this really will speed up your workflow with just one color grading layer. It's pretty easy to do. And now let's move on to our last example, which is this one. If you watch my full edits on landscapes, you know I like to balance out the sky separately from the foreground. And I believe we need to do it here, because let me show you. I did a color grading balance and contrast layer right here, and I'll turn it on and show you. This is what it looks like if I treat the whole image as one entire image. So let me shut that off and I'll show you the better results I get when I work with the sky and the foreground separately. Let me X out of this color grading tool. Now we're going to be using my channels. When I click on my channels, you see I have sky and foreground. I went ahead and saved out the sky and foreground in advance. And to do that, I just clicked on this icon on the CX panel to find the sky. And then I clicked here to save that sky and channels. And then I went ahead and inverted the sky and then clicked the save to channels and named it foreground. So it's already done for me. And you've seen me do this if you watch my past tutorials. I do it all the time. You can go back and watch one of those if you need a refresher. Now we need to go to my channel. So click on my channels and we'll start with the foreground. I'm going to click on foreground. Now we need to do a mass calculation. So we're going to click the mass calculator. Now we're going to click X for intersect. That's important. We can't go to mids three here, it won't work. Trust me, you could try it and see, but it won't work. You have to X out of here, go into luminosity masks, and then we have to click uh, midtones three, and there's our midtones three, and then click equals, and that makes the intersection just like that. And now we just have to output that to the color grading tool. And there we go, there's our foreground with midtones three to protect us from clipping. And now we can make our balance and contrast adjustment. I'll start out with highlights and start dragging this to the right and adjusting my highlights. I'm gonna take it up pretty high here. 
I'm just looking back here at these trees in this barn over here. I think that looks good. Now I'll move to shadows, so click on the shadow block. I'm going to start to move this to the left, get a little bit of extra contrast in there, not too much. I think that's good. And now let's go to midtones, and let's move this to the right. I think, I, yeah, I want to lighten my midtones. So I'm going to move my midtones to the right, right about there, I think. Now I'm going to go back to my shadows and readjust. I'm going to go a little more to the left, something like that. So here's the before and here's the after, but look at the nice balance and the contrast built in. Now let's work on the sky. So let's X out of this color grading tool. It remains, we're just getting rid of it. It's in front of our interface here. So we X out and now we can see the interface again on the TK8 multi-mask panel. And now let's click on my channels again. And this time we're gonna click on sky. We're gonna do the same thing, get a mass calculator. Let's click X for intersect. X out of here and let's go back to luminosity masks and click on number three midtones right here and click equals and now we've intersected that midtones with the sky right here. Now you see this little area of the mask I missed right here. I could get this brush, this black brush if I wanted to. It's not going to really hurt anything but I'm just going to paint over that just like that. So you can repair things if you miss something like that, and that's cool. And let's output this to a color grading tool right here. So now we're just working on the sky. As you can see from the mask, the foreground is masked out, and I have a mid three protecting my sky. And just to prove a point, let's throw a live clipping layer above here, and let's go back to the color grading layer. The sky doesn't need too much done in the highlights, so I'm gonna click on the highlights, and I just wanna show you something. Let's start to move this to the right. And if I go too far, see how things start getting smeared in here in the highlights? I start losing detail. I'm going to move this the whole way to the right. And you'll notice I have no clipping, right? But if I shut off the midtones mask, check this out. Clicking this X, look at all that clipping. So it truly is protecting us, right? So let me go ahead and get rid of the clipping mask right here. And let me go ahead and turn this mask back on and I'm gonna right click highlights and reset it. Let's start to move it to the right and I think I just want a little bit of highlights in there. Not much at all, right about there, a little extra highlight in there and now let's move to the shadows. Now the shadows, we don't have a lot of really dark shadows in these clouds, right over in this area right here. Let's look at this area as I move this to the shadows and start to move this to the left. You can see those areas getting darker in there, right? So I think right around there looks pretty good. And let's go on midtones. If we want to do anything with the midtones, we can either lighten up the midtones or darken them. I might just darken them slightly, not too much, but right around there. Here is the before and here is the after. Now let's compare this to the original color grading layer. So here's the original color grading layer with, without separating out the sky from the foreground. As you can see, the sky doesn't look real good. The foreground's not bad. But now let's check it out with sky and foreground separation. We get a much nicer result. Well, there you go, everyone. We had three different examples today. And uh, an iPhone image, a flower image with low contrast. I actually built the low contrast in it with my new technique. And also, we worked on a landscape image. Now, this is just the starting point of an editing process. But I wanted to show you this new workflow because it's going to save you some time. It's going to speed up your workflow. And you're going to get really good results with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like. Share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.